Are you getting the Arch and Olive quarterly subscription? To help you decide, I'll be showing you everything that came in the September 2021 box, unboxing each product and testing them out. If you're thinking of getting the box, you can use my affiliate link in the description to support me. But let's get into the unboxing. First off, I just have to say that this box is full. It has absolutely no packing because nothing is going to be moving in here. Just to note, this box was gifted to me, but I chose to make a video and it's not sponsored. Sitting on the top of the box, we first have a pen case. It has two sides, each with fastenings to keep your pen safe, and it's a lovely neutral colour. Then we have a gorgeous print inside a vellum envelope. I'll show you the print in a minute, but I actually just love the envelope and seal. I'll definitely find a use for them. Next we have three, yes, three notebooks. I believe they're close to A6 size, which is new to Arch and Olive, and each one is a different paper colour. We next have a big roll of weekly calendar stickers, which I'll open for you later, but if you can see there in the back, I'm so excited we have another new product, brush pens. Arch and Olive have called them the Kaleograph pens, and I'll be opening them up and using these for you to see. Spoiler alert, I love them. Next, a really fun product are these adhesive pockets, because you can never have enough pockets. <laughs> and then a sticker book with six sheets of matte transparent stickers. Last but not least, there are five colouring pages to sit down, relax and colour in the geometric designs. And now we know everything in the box, I'm going to open them up, really show you each product and test them out. As I mentioned, the pen bag has two pockets and I love the little ampersands here on the zips. When you open the pockets, each side has fastenings for you to safely store your pens. Weirdly, I don't already own a nice pencil bag, so I'm guessing these fastenings are quite standard, but wow, this is definitely making me realise what I've been missing for travelling. As you can see, the different pen types all fit in nice and easy, and they're lovely and secure. It even fits wider pens such as a fountain pen, and larger pens such as the Tombow dual brush pens. It does feel like you could pack a lot of pens here outside of the fastenings too if you would like, and of course you have the two sections for more space. Overall, I really love the colour of this case, particularly because it's nice and plain. I'm quite picky with prints, so if I want to, I can customise it myself with acrylograph pens, but I'll definitely be keeping this in my bag for all the pens I want to keep with me. Next up is an inspirational quote print. Firstly, I just love this vellum envelope and seal. It has the ampersand stamped into it and it just makes the print feel even more luxurious. I know it's only an envelope, but these small details are really what make the Arch and Olive purchases feel extra special. Now the print itself really shows you the theme of the box with the neutral blue peach colours and the geometric shapes. It features the quote, I have the power to create change, and I just love how inspiring that is. Here I'm also showing you that it does fit really nicely into an A5 and above journal, so if you don't have a place to hang or frame the print, you could add it into the beginning of your journal as a reminder. I always love to add a quote in mine and this would be a great choice. I am so beyond excited about the notebooks in this box. Each one is linen, dot grid and has a gorgeous rose gold detailing. The colours are just stunning as you will see, and the light blue craft one may just be my favourite, but I know this dark blue one will become a staple in my handbag for notes. The small size of these notebooks is so unbelievably cute. It actually makes them feel really welcoming to use. I don't know about you, but when I get new notebooks, I can feel nervous to use them or what to use them for, but this size feels much more approachable for some smaller ideas I have for notebooks, such as everyday notes, swatches, one line a day, or a self-care journal. I will link a blog I created for Arch and Olive in the description of 50 notebook ideas if you have lots of journals but no ideas. But another thing I love is that they all come in a different paper colour. This means they're perfect for people wanting to try out the different paper types without maybe committing to a larger notebook. I personally love the blackout and I use it for my main bullet journal. I definitely remember at first I was nervous about how high maintenance it would be to set up and use day to day, 
but it only took a few weeks to get used to the change and if you would like me to make a video on my favourite supplies for the different paper types, let me know. I'd also love to know in the comments what you would use these notebooks for. These weekly calendar stickers again come in such luxurious packaging. I'll no doubt find a use for the box, but the sticker roll has six different stickers repeated throughout the roll. It has a dark blue, peach and light blue calendar and notes sticker. They all measure at nine dots wide, but as you can see here for a quick notepad weekly I made, you can easily trim the stickers down to eight dots without running into the design. In fact, the geometric design has lines exactly where to cut the sticker to make it eight dots wide. So they're great for both B5 and A5 layouts. And what I'm sure you've been waiting for, the new Cleograph pens. The design is just gorgeous and I'm sure you remind me of others in the comments but I think this might be my favourite packaging from Arch and Olive to date. So first you'll see they come with these lettering guides. These are brilliant because you can actually letter onto them, wipe it clean and go again. I was a little sceptical feeling the material but they really do wipe completely clean. I love that there's a variation of letters, a quote, and everything you need to get started with brush pen calligraphy if you're new to the materials. The pens themselves are styled similar to the Acrylograph pens which I really enjoy, and they are dual tipped. Apart from lettering, these pens are great for colouring, highlighting, writing, and drawing. The larger tip is a little shorter and harder than brush pens I've used before, allowing you to have more control on the upstrokes. Here it is for you to see beside the Tombow. Next, the small tip is just the perfect flexibility to get amazing line variation, from very thin to much thicker lines. Here it is against the Tombow and Pentel brush pens. The colours are all in keeping with the theme, it has an ampersand on each side as usual, which you know I love, and size-wise they're just smaller than the Tombow dual tips. Here I thought I would swatch them out for you to see, I've brought you in close to really see how the larger and smaller nib work. If you're just starting out, the smaller nibs are great for practicing as I feel like you can get so much more control. With these pens, Archer and Olive have said that some colours on each pen are matched, while others have some variation. This is to test out more colours and get feedback on what people like the most. I think I personally would like them matched going forward, or maybe even the smaller nib darker, just so you can add shadows and shading on lettering. But let me know in the comments what you would prefer. Here I also thought I would quickly show you some lettering with a smaller nib and also show you that you can use them with a ruler, almost like a fine liner, for layouts and writing if you're not interested in calligraphy. And in case you're interested, because I definitely was, you can remove this insert and use the gorgeous box as you wish. Next we have the adhesive pockets. These are such a lovely touch to add to spreads for cute memories and messages, or even just at the front of your notebook for keepsakes or notes you don't want to misplace. These are just a lovely addition of something I don't have and will definitely find a use for. The double sided tape is already on the back so all you need to do is peel and stick. Here you can see in the A5 notebook you can fit one or even two of the pockets perfectly. Another thing I always find uses for are stickers. This sticker book is a new format for Arch and Olive and I really love that they are matte and transparent. This means you can use them on all paper types and the outline really blends into the page. These ones really tie into the neutral geometric theme and there's everything you need for the monthlies, weeklies, decoration and more. There's three sheet designs and you get two of each so that's six sheets in total. Here I'm finishing up this weekly spread with the weekly headers, some decorations around the lettering and a banner to fill the space. One thing I noticed is that if you're careful, you can unstick and reapply these stickers on the Atron Olive paper. This is great if you misplace one like I did. And finally here are the colouring sheets included. They come in this paper envelope which would actually make a great stencil and there's five unique designs. 
I love that they included some really intricate and some more simple designs. Sometimes you're just in the mood for one or the other. Also quick tip, remember to scan these in before colouring them and you can print them out and use as many times as you wish. And that's the full unboxing of the Archer & Olive September subscription box. If you're thinking about getting the box, I hope I helped you decide if this one was for you. Just to note, the subscription is currently $70 plus shipping each quarter, but that will be increasing to $75 plus shipping in December. So if you're thinking of signing up, make sure to do it now to lock in that $70 price which will never change once you're subscribed. I'll leave all the details you need about the subscription box in the description. If you want to watch more videos from me, I'm going to be aiming to post more stationery and bullet journal content, so make sure you're subscribed and click the bell to be notified when I post. And for now, YouTube should be recommending some of my earlier videos you may like, so make sure to check them out. Until next time.